Okay. This is on worksheet number two, page eight, question number eight. It says find all points on the function y equals one over x, where the slope of the normal is four. So this is kind of an interesting question. I think the best way of going about it is drawing a diagram. I think to really understand what you're trying to find, uh, the best thing to do is go with that. So for the first bit, let's just make sure we know what we're talking about. Okay, so we're, we're looking for a normal. Um, for, so some line that is going to have a slope of about 4. Uh, so what does a slope of 4 look like? Um, well, maybe about 1 over and 4 up. So I guess something that looks kind of like this maybe? I'll say it's about that. And the question is, is well, what's what's a normal? Uh, a normal, um, I told you in class, is something that is 90 degrees to a surface. In this case, we're going to assume we're talking about 90 degrees to the tangent line. Uh, so, why am I saying that? Well, let's just assume for a moment we we have a uh, some sort of function. Uh, 1 over x, I don't really know uh, what we're looking for here yet, but we know that it's going to be something that, uh, say it's going along like this, and I don't know, maybe it curves down like this. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care what the function looks like just yet, but this is going to be 90 degrees to the surface, which means 90 degrees to the, the actual slope of that point right there. Uh, point right here. So, let's see here, let's just draw a nice big, there we go, right there. So, I'm talking about 90 degrees to the tangent. So let's just, hmm, I didn't really draw that very good. Let me try that again. Bring it up here. How's this? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not the best, but it's not bad. Okay. So I'm look, I know that the um, slope of this guy, slope, is equal to 4. And I don't know how to get the equation for a normal line. Uh, what I'm trying to find out is where is this point. But this point is where this tangent line is. And the question is, is what would be, I guess if I knew the slope, of uh, this, of the tangent. So this is of the normal. Whoa. What's going on there? Let's try that again. This is the slope of the normal. And this is the slope of the tangent. But what is it? Um, what is the slope? I don't know what the slope is. So in this case, what's going to have to be done here is a little bit of trigonometry. That's going to be necessary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, whoa, I'm going to take, let's see here, take the whole thing here. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Make this a little bigger so I can work with as much as possible. Uh, let's see. So, no, 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 no. Whoa. All right. No, that's all right. I'll come back up. Here we go. And I'm making this really big so that I have a little bit to work with. Because in order to answer this, I am going to need a little bit of geometry here. So I need a few lines. I'm going to get rid of the, the arrows now. I don't really need them. Because let's think about what do I mean by a slope? What is a slope? Uh, well, quite simply, a slope is the it's equal to the rise over the run. It's the rise over the run of a line. And that means my change in my y direction over my change in my x. So I'm going some amount over this way. So let's just look at this. x would be horizontal. And let's say y would be vertical. And so let's take a look at this. This means the slope of this blue line is 4, which means I am going to go over. Let me 
So I'm going to go over, let me see, it's going to be delta y. So delta y will be positive 4, positive 4. And the slope across would be positive 1. That, that, would, be, that would be how I would get the slope of this line itself. Uh, if I really wanted to think about it, I could say, well, I have some sort of angle here uh, that is represented as the, uh, the, the sort of the angle between the x-axis or the x, the horizontal, and uh, the line itself. So I have some sort of line there. Uh, this is 90 degrees. I should look at that too. Because at the same time, I'm kind of looking a little bit of uh, some sort of geometry. Now let's think about that. Also, um, let's not forget that the normal and the tangent are also at 90 degrees to each other. Now this becomes kind of a little important because what I'm looking for is to know what the slope of this uh, red line is. And, well, I know it's 1 over, but what I don't know is what is this distance. So we're going to call this distance uh, y2, I guess. We'll call it y2. Uh, the distance from here to here. If I get that, then I'll get the uh, slope of tangent will be equal to y2 over 1. So as soon as I find that, I'm, I'm rocking. I'm rocking. Now, when you look at this, you kind of go, well, wait a minute, okay. Um, I've got a triangle. I've got another triangle down here, which has also got a 90 degree angle. Okay, so um, I have another angle here. Now that's not equal to theta. Um, something else. So we're going to call this, I don't know, let's call it gamma just to give it a different name. Now I got to think about this. Let me see. Uh, what else do I have here? Okay, I've got um, a triangle. Now, wait a minute. Uh, theta plus gamma is going to be equal to 90 degrees because I did say the angle between the normal and the tangent is equal to 90 degrees. All right, and uh, I've got an angle up here. What do I want to call that? I'm going to call that um, beta. I just need to call it something. So I can also tell you that, um, let me see, well this is a triangle, it's 180 degrees, so I know that theta plus beta plus 90 degrees is equal to 180. That's true. All, right. All three angles add up to 180. I'm going to bring the 90 over, which means theta plus beta is equal to one. Wait, no, no, I said that wrong. It's equal to 90 degrees. Oh, well, hold on a minute then, because if I look at these two, this tells me something rather important bit of information it tells me therefore gamma is equal to beta in fact I don't even uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm not even going to going to take this guy away I'm not going to call that one uh, gamma anymore I'll call that one beta also but wait a minute if this is beta that means this angle here well, that must be theta as well now what does that tell me what does that tell me? That means I've got a triangle here. Uh, let me see. I'm just drawing them over here to make it easier for myself to understand. But I got theta and beta. I've got a side four and one, and I've got another one. I'm going to draw this. One. I'm going to flip it around a little bit. I'm going to rotate it, but just so I can understand it, I'm going to have theta and beta also, but it's a different size because this side is now one. But these two are similar triangles, which tells me, what does that tell me? Well, quite simply, I'm looking for, what am I looking for? I'm looking for y here, which means, let's look, the ratio of the size should be equal. So therefore, 4 over 1, that's the two long sides, should be equal to the ratio of 1 over, oops, don't say 4, 1 over y, 1 over y, which means that my, um, and I should say this is y2, by the way, these are y2s, just to make that clear, y2 then must be equal to 1 over 4. Now there's a little problem there, i got to be careful about what I said, because all I figured out was the 
um, the distance. This is one over four. So I got to look carefully because let's let's not make this big mistake here. But I am not going. I am going over, but I'm also going down. I'm going down, which means this is my my slope is actually going to be equal to negative negative one quarter over one, and that will be equal to negative one over four. Hmm. That's interesting. So the slope of the normal is 4, and the tangent is the negative inverse of that. All right? So it's almost, uh, if I had to give an ex say something here, I could say the slope of the uh, tangent is equal to negative 1 over the slope of the normal. Is this true always? I don't know. Is is this a general rule or not? Have I invented some little rule of math? I I I, I, I don't know. I, I I it is a mystery. I would have to try a few others and find out if I get the same thing again. Uh, I have suspicions. I have suspicions that it is actually probably quite true because for the most part I didn't. I'm using general angles and everything. And I don't really know what they are, and it didn't matter. I still got the same ratio, so it's possible that's that's what's going on. Uh, but that's for another day. That's for another day. For the time being, let's just simply look at our problem. I just want to keep looking at that. So we were looking for what were we trying to find here? All the points where the slope of the normal is four. But really, what I want to say now is I'm going to change my quest, my answer to I want to know where. The slope of the tangent is negative one quarter. Now I want that because I can get the slopes of the tangents because that is equal to the derivatives. The slope of the tangents at any point is the derivatives, which means all I need to do is say, okay, well, that's much easier because if y equals, um, let's just call that x to the negative one, then y prime is going to be equal to negative x to the negative 2, which is the same as saying negative 1 over x squared. And I want to know when is this equal to negative 1 over 4. Here we go. Here we go. So what do I get? Well, let's just do a little math. You bring the 4 up, you bring the x squared up, you're going to get, let me see, I'm going to get 4 equals x squared. The negatives cancel. And therefore, therefore, x is equal to plus or minus 2. I have two spots. Two spots where I will have that slope. Uh, and I kind of can think about why that would be the case. Because I'm just going to draw it over here really fast. 1 over x is going to look like, let's just draw it nice and red. It's going to look like something like that, and then there's going to be another one looking like that. So if you think about it, uh, I'm looking at something where my slope is negative a quarter. I can probably get one over here and one over. There's probably two spots like that. You can kind of tell, yeah, they kind of have the same slope. So that does kind of make sense. It does kind of make sense. Now, I'm not finished. I'm trying to find out the, remember, it's find all points. I gotta find all the points, which means uh, uh, x1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to negative 2, and I have to get my y's. I have to get the y values. Now I'm going back to the original. Remember, I'm, if I want to find the point, I gotta go to the original function, which means that would be, uh, in this case, y equals 1 over 2, and for negative 2, it'd be 1 over, negative 1 over 2. So therefore, my my solution, my solution, my 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 answer here, my answer is going to be either two comma half or negative two comma negative half. And remember, that's my final answer. I have two points where the slope of the normal is four, which is the same thing as saying slope of the tangent is negative one over four. And I uh, get my solution. So that worked out pretty good. Um, a little bit of geometry was necessary. I had to look at all this stuff to kind of work it all out. But if you think about it carefully, what you're trying to do, and this is what I'm trying to 
push on you guys is that you really got to understand what a derivative really is. And when you do that, these kind of questions become a little easier because you, you, you can think of it as a, as a picture sometimes. You can see it uh, as the image of the function instead of just simply numbers. Sometimes you want to think of it as, as the picture of the graph. Graphing really helps you in a lot of cases, especially with derivatives, to imagine what this thing must look like. Anyway, I'm going to move on to the next question.